Okay, so I recently learned that Leadfoot, or what we think is Leadfoot, has had an appearance on the Transformers 4 set. Now, prepare for probably one of the longest videos I've ever done, but I think in just a matter of minutes, I figured out why he's on the set. Now, go get some popcorn, pause the video first, go get some popcorn, a drink, find a nice comfy seat, because this is going to be a long while, because <laughs> when I say few minutes, I was literally talking with myself for 20 minutes about this. I kind of went off topic, but hear me out. Now, here's my, this is what I think is the reason why we have Leadfoot on Transformers 4 set. Remember Hasbro saying that they wanted to put out toys of characters that they were tired of always the same characters over and over and over again, so they wanted to put out a new toy line, so ultimately they needed new characters. Now, think about Leadfoot. We never got... Okay, that's kind of a lie, but hear me out. We never really got a deluxe Leadfoot. The only way we got it was through Takara, which in turn never was a Hasbro thing. We never got it from Hasbro. And now I can remember also another little tidbit. When they revealed that the Prime toys were coming back, the first edition ones were coming back, they did mention that they wanted to bring back those figures that were never released in some f shape or form. Now thinking about that, this has got me something in my mind. They want to put Leadfoot out again because Leadfoot as a deluxe was never released. Which ultimately kind of leads me to a good question. Are we going to get the deluxe Wheeljack? Are we going to get the deluxe Soundwave? Are we going to get the Human Alliance Sound... The Human Alliance one? Th that just probably could happen. Because when you think about it, they said they wanted to put out a toy line of figures that pretty much hasn't been shown off. We never got those figures. So, technically, they were never shown off to us. We got promote, we got promotional pictures, but never got them, for serious. So, ultimately, I think they're putting Leadfoot in for even just a slight minute, just so we can get Leadfoot in the movie. Now here's something else. This gave me a good minute of what we what probably. We don't see really the other two wreckers. Now I've heard just a little bit of tidbit, but I don't have true, true confirmation. But apparently, the other road wreckers are getting re remodels. They're gonna look different. I don't believe it. But here's my idea. This is just a simple idea, just a small one. What if, just just what if, they put out a deluxe weaponizer, weaponized Roadbuster? We technically never got that. We only got a Roadbuster that just looks like the plain old NASCAR stock car. Maybe they want to put remodel that. Now, we never got a Human Alliance top spin. Pretty much, he's the only wrecker that never got one. Maybe Hasbro might just do more Human Alliance figures, and maybe they'll put Soundwave in that same line, and just a maybe top spin. Now, that's just me thinking out loud, but that could be interesting. Maybe in the deluxe line, we'll get the figures that never came out, never came out, and that's pretty much about around six, if you're wanting to count the movie trilogy characters that never ever saw the light of day. If you include those and the fig, the, the cars that have been revealed, 
you got a really good Dark of the Moon, like, you got a good five waves of figures there. Maybe even more if we keep on seeing more. Now, Dark of the Moon's problem was, they had, like, five waves, but the last wave was pretty much a repaint wave. There was Darksteel, who was a repaint of Sideswipe, there was a, there was a, uh, Armored Topspin, who was a repaint of Topspin, other countries that never got the Battle, Battle Road, whatever, Battle Ops Roadbuster, whatever the hell it was called, <laughs> Battle Track, Track, ba Track Battle Roadbuster, got that in that wave, so, that was their problem, they had a lot of repaints, there, but not in the Voyager line, they never had any, now I'm thinking, but, maybe, that could happen, it's just, we get no repaints whatsoever, maybe a few Bumblebee repaints, I wouldn't, I, I kind of gotten used to them doing that, so it wouldn't really bother me as much, if we just never got another repaint from Bumblebee, but, you gotta think, maybe they're adding those things into that wave, and already having all those figures, all those cars, and all those characters in the same wave. Now, I'm not talking about, like, Optimus and Hound. I'm, th I'm thinking those are gonna be Voyagers, especially Hound. I'm thinking Hound's gonna be a straight-up Voyager. I really don't see it as a Deluxe, because that, <laughs> that truck was humongous. And... That's just my two cents. And maybe, just maybe, we'll see Wheeljack, we'll see Soundwave, we'll see Leadfoot in the Transformers 4 toy line. And maybe Mirage, but don't, 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 don't take it up. I don't really, I really don't think that will happen. Even though, at one point, Hasbro said that it was rumored that they were working on that. Two of them, actually, two different Mirages. A buzzsaw figure, which was going to be a remold of a remold of uh, Laserbeak, and then there was going to be Human Alliance for our, uh, Mirage. Maybe, maybe that. Maybe we'll have that. Now, of course, back to what I'm trying to say. All we really have seen so far of any old characters from the last few movies was the old Optimus and the old B in one picture, and then now Leadfoot. So, to sum it all up, they'll prob they're probably putting Leadfoot in Transformers 4 so they can finally give us the deluxe version of that toy to us. <sighs> How long was this? Oh, that ain't bad, 8 minutes, that ain't bad at all. Oh, well, whatever. So, I hope you guys enjoyed my little theory. You can have your own theories. You, I don't even care. You could probably put them in the comment section. Um, this is really the first time I really was trying to get at with Transformers 4 stuff. I was at one point thinking about releasing my my two cents about all the, all the, the cars that were revealed. But more cars kept re getting revealed. And plus also, I've really had no time to do that. So, I guess whenever literally filming is wrapped up and we're done, I might make a video about that. Cause, but then again, a lot of people are hating these things, and I'd really. A lot of people would probably be very angry at my views. So, that's much as I can say about those vehicles. So, I gotta go. I just really just sat there and looked at that picture and just thought about it. So, I gotta go. I got things to do. What am I kidding? Uh, alright, see you guys. Man. What are we at now, nine minutes? Y'all yeah, ended now. Bye.